working on the first step of our word guess game and I've kept it very simple. But let's go back and look at the guessing game steps. The first two steps, which is what this video is going to show, is to create an array to hold the potential answers and then to generate a random number to pick a word from the array. So we've declared an array by declaring the variable game equal to, and in square brackets, we have the values of the array. And this would be at index 0, index 1, index 2, and index 3. And I've sort of simplified the formula here for the random number. Because with math.floor, we're going to round down. We want a number between 0 and 3. And the formula that we're supposed to use for this is math.random times the max minus the minimum, which would be 3 minus 0, plus 1. So that would be 4. So we have math random times 4, and that's supposed to be plus the minimum, which is 0, so we can ignore it. So we're getting the random numbers between 0 and 3, because if the top number is 4 and we round down, we'll only get 0 to 3, giving us 0, 1, 2, or 3. Then we're storing the answer in game at the index of choice. So game is our array, choice is our index, and then I'm star staring, storing the length of answer in a variable called my length, which we're going to use a lot coming up. It's not really important right now, but we're going to need that for several upcoming steps. So let's flip it back and forth from being on, and you'll see I believe in testing at every step. So the first time we run it, we get April, January, February, January. So we are generating a random number each time. If we kept going, we'd eventually get all of them, but it's randomly generated each time. So we're off to where we need to start. We're, we have an array of possible answers, and we're randomly picking one, which we're storing in choice, and then we're going to get the length of the answer, which we'll need in a few minutes. So that's the first step in the word guess game.